guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm gonna to be doing my first ever Snapchat Q&A. And I'm so excited to be doing it with my boyfriend. Hi hey guys, what's up, I'm Ryan. So this video is gonna be kind of like a boyfriend tag, but the questions are gonna be coming mostly from you guys and your Snapchats. I was wondering if you have any cute couple traditions you do and what's your favorite memory together? I don't know, I would say like going to Mountain Park. It's just a place where it has like a lake, some swings, and then like benches. So it's really cute. Um, we like to go there a lot just to like hang out. What other traditions do we have? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we have really any traditions. And then what's our favorite memory together? I don't know, there's so many good memories that we have together, but I would say just like exploring Atlanta or exploring anywhere in general with Ryan is just so much fun. We've been to like Miami, we went to Miami once, that was really cool because we spent just like a whole day there. It was like jam packed and I don't know, that was really fun. Um, but yeah, exploring Atlanta is like one of my favorite memories with you. What's yours? <laughs> my favorite memories together with Sonali are probably all the spring breaks we went on during high school. Um, it's kind of like a week of being at the beach up there is always fun. Yeah, it's so And with all your friends and it's kind of like yeah. your whole hometown goes down to Destin and that's fun. Yeah, we um, usually went to Destin, Florida every spring break and oh my god, senior spring break was like so fun because I went in like a whole house with all my girlfriends. Oh my gosh, probably the best week of my life. And especially at the beach, like who isn't happy when they're at the beach, right? So the next question is what is your favorite store? My favorite is hands down Forever 21. I love Forever 21. Seriously, I'm about to go buy all of their bodysuits because I'm obsessing over bodysuits right now. He kind of dresses like preppy, kind of like. I'll go to like big sporting goods a lot. Yeah. Or like, yeah, yeah, it really depends on what season it is, I guess. Yeah. I love Ryan and Heather Gray athletic wear. That's just random, but <laughs> it looks really good in it. I got my Heather Gray quarters with TJ Maxx. I like that place. Yeah, that's a good place too. Next question is, what are you planning to do after college? It's really scary to think about this because it's honestly like so close for us. It's like three years and that's after college. I'm majoring in radio television right now. So maybe something with that, but I'm not really sure at the moment. I'm in a school from marketing major, so I don't really know what that entails after college, but hopefully something that's high paying. That's all, that's all I really want. <laughs> Retweet. <laughs> Maybe be a manager for some. That'd be so fun. This one says, how do you two keep the relationship going with long distance? My boyfriend is going to university in the UK and I'm going to Orlando. Any advice helps? That is so much worse than we have it. Obviously, FaceTime was a big, big thing for our relationship and it's also really important to just like save money to like go see them once in a while. He always flew on Spirit Airlines which their flights are so cheap and honestly I flew on them recently and I'm gonna start flying on them like so much more because they're so cheap and it's the same thing as Delta like there's honestly no difference. Next question is most Indian parents want their kids with other Indians so I was just wondering if your parents care about you being in an interracial relationship and how did they react when you told them? They're really awesome about it. Obviously, they both want me to be happy and if I'm with a good guy, then that doesn't really matter. Mommy, come here. Do you want to answer this question? What is the question? I, like, I just want you both to be happy and you both to get along and you both to have a long, happy life for however long it lasts. <laughs> and if, if you end up getting married, just, uh, I will suggest premarital counseling. <laughs> Sounds good, thank you. Heard it from the source, ladies and gents. <laughs> okay, our question for you guys is what is your favorite Indian food? Because we're brown and we want to know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm like almost totally Americanized, so I don't handle spice as well. So my favorite Indian food is um, butter chicken and naan. Probably his too, right? No, I like spicy. Yeah? I love spicy food, so like, I don't know, I had some wings that the dad made that were really good. Oh, chops. So goat, yeah. uh, lamb chops. I think they were lamb chops. And I had yeah, goat curry. That, that is good. This Indian restaurant I went to. Mm -hmm. it was good too. Yeah, goat curry. I honestly eat a lot of Indian food, just not like super spicy. I don't see the point in 
feeding it because it's like torture for me. So the next question is from one of my best friends in my sorority. So if they're a little cray, you know why. <laughs> Then Holly, I was wondering how many pictures you have on your phone. That was Charlotte's sister, um, Marissa. Let's see. Okay, six thousand four hundred seventy-three photos, two hundred twenty-three videos, and that's only because I deleted like over like one fourth of them. So I would have had way more, but it was just getting too much. I have pictures from eighth grade. I only have seven hundred on my phone. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you cray. Hi, Charlotte here. I was just wondering if you would hunt Pokemon with me. Thanks. No, Charlotte, I'm not gonna freaking hunt Pokemon with you. Oh my God, she's literally getting me to get Pokemon Go and like squat up on UCF campus and go hunt Pokemon. I'll honestly probably jump on the bandwagon sooner or later, but for now, no. <laughs> Are you ever gonna get Pokemon Go? Question <laughs> for Ryan. I was wondering if you had any tips on being an Instagram husband. If you guys don't know what an Instagram husband is, pause this and watch the video in my description box below. It is probably the funniest thing ever, especially if you know like a couple that the girl loves Instagram and the guy like always has to take the pictures. So before you start, she starts taking pictures, put a number limit on how many you're going to take before you start taking them. <laughs> and count down four so she knows how many shows are left. Always be ready to take a picture no matter what. I would say just breathe in and out when you get irritated. You know, if you don't n limit the number, you're gonna be there all day. This one's actually for your dog. I was wondering if she was ever gonna consider getting braces. Okay, if you guys don't know, my dog has really messed up teeth. Like her, she is such a bad um, underbite and her teeth are really, really messed up. I'll insert a picture right here. But she's so cute, but no, she's not gonna get braces because she likes the way she looks and I think it's cute. So that said, are you guys ever gonna get married? Um, obviously I want to get married someday. You never know and we don't like to jinx anything, right? My question is, how do you guys deal with or cope with being apart for a long time um, in your long distance relationship? It's honestly not as bad as you guys think. You know what I mean? Like, yes, it <clears throat> sucks that you can't be with them and like hug them and just like lay on them. I, I go to school all day. I come home and do homework all day. Yeah. And then I have a FaceTime where I fall asleep usually, so. I just feel like there's not that much time and especially for me, like with my sorority and like school. And then if Ryan was like in Orlando with me, I would just have to like balance all of that and it would just become so much harder. We, we kind of like like it just because it's easier for us to manage time between the things that we do have like right there. I would just say like, I keep myself busy So my day planner is the day designer. What? Our family gave her so much crap for paying like seventy dollars for it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it was well worth it. Last night at dinner, she penciled me in for this video. In her. True story. How did you and Ryan meet? Love you. So unfortunately the sound didn't work on that one. I don't know why, but she asked, how did we meet? Yeah, in middle school, um, I don't know, I think we are like Facebook friends. Yeah. And then she's a cheerleader and I play football. <clears throat> and one year we walked together at home, I'd be like a homecoming football game. Mm -hmm. And I always thought she was so weird. And then we weren't really that close until we had biology the other ninth grade. Then we became like best friends and then sophomore year. I was so in denial of liking him. And then I was just like, wait, I actually like my best friend. Yes, it happens, just like the movies. And then he was literally oblivious <laughs> that I liked him for so long. It took him so long and then told tell me, yeah, I didn't. Why would I tell him? Like, oh my God, boys literally need you to tell them everything. Like they can't get hints. They do not understand hints. <laughs> What's the number one reason why you love each other? Love from Missouri. That's so cool. I love seeing like all the little filters. Kid Gerardo's where my whole family lives, by the way. I would say because you're my best friend. Like it was awesome that 
we were first best friends like for like a whole year and a half or something like that and then we started like getting into the relationship so I don't know it's just like so nice to have like my best friend and my boyfriend all in one. Yeah, because she's really funny and she's really fun to hang out with. Only me like 30% of the time. I'm not me and sometimes you're annoying so. Hey Sonali I love your channel and my question is What's your biggest advice for styling your dorm and how did you come up with a theme? Thank you. So I feel like for me styling my dorm was very essential because it's just awesome to have like a really decorated room. I think your bedding makes the whole room. So I just got like a white comforter and just dressed it up with like a lot of pillows and a lot of blankets. And I can link my dorm video down below that I featured 41 Winx's products. They're so cute. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. But yeah, I would just say like focus on the bedding because I don't know, that's where you'll be spending a lot of your time, you know? Make sure you have a good mattress topper if you're in the dorm because oh my God, the yes. beds are miserable. Don't hang like all this clutter on your wall, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, a poster here and there is fine, but I would just say keep it clean. Whatever you do, don't make a gallery wall. I spent so much time on that. Oh. Hi, it's Hannah. Um, I was just wondering, how do you find good off-campus housing? Because there's a lot of choices. First of all, just Google off-campus housing at your university. It's so important to tour it. Like, it might look so nice on the website of it, but it might not be as nice in person. So it's really important to tour it. And then also look at the pricing of them and compare them all. That's how I picked the one I wanted to live at. I would say just find the best amenities for the price like where i yeah. live has like five pools and like there's a shuttle so you don't have to drive downtown mm -hmm. and or uber because that, yeah, that saves you so up. much money yeah and it's like safe like i don't know if you've ever been my college town there's a lot of dangerous places to live yeah there's a lot of muggings and um where i live is pretty safe hi sonali i just wanted to know of any tips and advice that you and your boyfriend may have on surviving long distance relationships in college so I was wondering how you and Ryan maintain a happy and healthy relationship while you're in Florida and he's in Georgia. So we text like almost every single like hour of the day. You know what I mean? We Snapchat, we update each other on our lives like as we're going, you know what I mean? Snapchat's so fun because it feels like I'm there with him without him being on FaceTime like the whole time at a bar, you know? But enjoy yeah. yourself, don't be sick like Snapchat people the whole time around and yeah party. just being honest with each other tell each other where like you're going don't hide anything like if i'm going to like a frat party like i'm not gonna tell them like oh i'm staying in for the night like i'm gonna tell them i'm going to a frat party you know hey sonali i just want to know how you and ryan told your guys' parents that you guys were dating love you bye haha <laughs> funny story <laughs> so i actually hid my boyfriend for like two and a half years from my parents yeah that happened <laughs> but i think they like knew the whole time but like not really my mom was actually the first one who brought it up to me and i just kept on kind of denying it but then i was kind of tired of like denying it and this was after i got into college so i felt like i could just tell them because their main reason why they never really wanted me to date in the first place was because they thought a boyfriend would be a distraction from school Obviously, it wasn't a distraction because I did get into college, so I felt like I was just like, well, I'm almost out of the house, so here it is. I just said, hey mom, this is my girlfriend. White people. My, mom, my mom's really relaxed a lot. I know a lot of people, white people will be like, yeah. No, 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 no. Hey Sonali, I live in New York, but I'm from Atlanta, and my sister and I bond over your videos, and we were wondering if you're ever going to do a meetup in Atlanta. ATL. I've actually gotten that question a lot this summer. And I don't know, like, I don't think I will this summer, maybe next summer, if everything goes good and if I'm here over this summer. So possibly next summer, but no promises because I don't really know yet. I don't know summer if you guys want to Yeah, maybe. Talk city market outside. <laughs> Comment whether you would want to come to a meetup, either if you're in Atlanta or Orlando, because I don't even know where I would do it. So I just want to see in the comments if you guys would come. How long have we been together? It has been three and a half years on July 7th. 
Do you and Ryan ever have issues concerning race or religion or culture or anything like that? Please let me know. Thank you. Neither one of us is super religious. Um, I mean, I'm Catholic and he is Baptist. So, I mean, it's still Christian. I mean, you should let whoever you're dating believe it they want to believe anyways. Race? Like, no, not really. Like, I definitely got some weird books at the mall. Really? Culture? I mean, he's, he's really good about that. Like, he'll eat Indian food. So, like, he, he's not, like, opposed to, like, the Indian culture or anything. And I'm definitely not opposed to American like, culture because <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty Americanized already. So, what are your guys' favorite Starbucks drinks? My favorite Starbucks drink is probably the matcha green tea iced latte or the frappuccino green tea. Frappuccino? Yeah. My favorite is a cold brew with cream and sugar. He's so basic. He drinks coffee, guys. I have really relatable signs in my room to take the first coffee. <laughs> then she said, Anne, have you ever had or do you have any pets? That is such a cute me juice! Oh my god. I do have a doggie. I used to have a black lab. Her name was Lucky. And now I have a toy sized Yorkie. And her name is Sophie. I have a new name for her every day. I have four dogs. And I have two cats. He has a zoo inside his house. The cats, we didn't really. Both of them just kind of like show up at our house. <laughs> and then, like, we just fed them so they stayed. And then the dogs, they're all rescue dogs. And you, know, you just have a soft spot in your heart for some rescue dogs. Are you guys nervous about doing a long distance relationship in college? And how did you manage your first year of an LDR in college? We were definitely nervous about doing it. Like, oh my God, guys, I cried. Like, obviously I cried about leaving him, but. <laughs> I was just nervous because I wouldn't have her like so close. Like our houses are like five minutes away. Literally five minutes so away. So it was weird not having her like you can just call her and be like, hey, it's crazy. Wanted to know how you fell in love, as well as did you know he was the one? Do you picture your future with Ryan? Like I said, he was my best friend, and how can you not fall in love with your best friend? In reality, you do date to marry, so if you're not dating someone that you eventually see a future with, then why are you dating them? So yes, I see a future with him. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Ryan, then check out my vlogs. I actually have some playlists already made up. So I will link my playlist of vlogs down below. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.